Let's talk about how you would go about downloading and submitting a problem set in CS51. This year we're using a service called GitHub Classroom in order to distribute problem sets to all students. So the first thing you'll need to do is go into your web browser and type in a URL that we'll provide for you that'll take you to the GitHub Classroom page for this assignment. Once you accept the assignment, you'll see a screen that says you're ready to go, which means that GitHub Classroom has created a private repository just for you and this assignment. So now if you go into your email, you should soon receive an email from GitHub indicating that you've been subscribed to this new repository. If you take that link and put that link into your web browser, you'll be taken to the GitHub repository page for this particular problem set. And on this page, you can see all of the files that we distribute to you as the distribution code for this particular problem set. So now, let's talk about how you would go about downloading this problem set onto your computer. In the upper right hand corner of the main page, you'll see a clone or download button. If you copy that link and then go into your terminal and type in the command git clone followed by that link, that problem set will be downloaded onto your computer. Now if you cd into that directory, you should see all of the files for the problem set now downloaded onto your computer. One step you should definitely bear in mind is that before you begin, you should take the git remote add distribution command that should be on the problem set's readme and paste that into your terminal window. Nothing seems to happen, but if you type git remote dash v, you'll see that distribution should be listed among those options. We ask you to do this in case we make updates to the problem set later after you've already downloaded it. That way, all you have to do in order to get the latest updates to the problem set is type git pull distribution master and put that into your terminal window and press return. And if there are any updates to the problem set, they should download. For now, we're already up to date. Now let's try actually editing this problem set file. You can use whatever text editor you like to open up the files within this problem set and then edit them in order to complete them as you will. Once you're done, you'll need to use Git to push the changes that you've made to the problem set back up to GitHub. If you're less familiar with Git, you may want to check out CS51's other video on Git, which will give you a more in-depth tutorial on what Git commands are and how to use them. But in most cases, the workflow will look something like this. If you type in git status into your terminal window, you'll see any of the files you've changed, in this case, ps0.ml. Then if you type git commit dash am, followed by some message about what you've changed, that will save any of the changes you've made to those files. Then if you type git push and press return in your terminal window, that will take any of the changes you've committed and push them back up to GitHub's website. So then if you go back into your web browser and refresh the page for the repository, you'll see that the PS0 file has been changed with your comment, start working on PS0. And then if you click on that, you should see any of the lines that you've actually changed since the last time that you committed. That means that your changes are now reflected on GitHub. Now, how do you go about actually submitting this problem set? If you go to gradescope.com after you've received an invitation, you should see the CS51 course appear on the main page. When you click on that, you'll see a list of assignments. In this case, problem set zero, which I have not submitted, which is due about five days from now. If I then click on problem set zero, it'll ask me to submit it. I should click on the GitHub button, and I may be asked to log in or authorize my account. After I've authorized my GitHub login for Gradescope, I'll be given a choice of which repository to submit, make sure you select the correct one for this particular problem set, and the branch, which should be master unless you've been working on a different branch. Then finally, you can click the submit button to submit your problem set. And that's how you go from accepting an assignment to submitting your problem set. If you run into any trouble or have any questions, absolutely feel free to reach out to your teaching fellow or any of the course's staff at office hours, via email, or on Piazza, and best of luck with your problem sets.